On the bench, I've got an EVH5153. Amp wasn't functioning. No light up front, none of the indicators turned on when I plugged the amp in. So I cracked it open. I took some initial measurements of the plate voltages on the tubes. So like as you can see here, we see our incoming voltage from the power supply. I took the measurements with the tubes in, the numbers were very similar. If a tube isn't drawing any power, we're gonna see the potential from the power supply. So once I pulled all the tubes out, that gave me some more insight to see where my issue was. So the best way to start when troubleshooting a tube amp is to start at the beginning. Start at the power supply, see if we have all of the voltages that we need coming in. So we're gonna start at the outlet. If we've got 120 at the primary, good. Now we're gonna check our secondaries on the transformers. We're gonna check our taps and we're gonna reference the schematic. Thankfully the EVH 5153 schematic is online. So I'm gonna go through and check that. And then I'm gonna start checking things post rectification. So right up front here, they have fuses. So if we look here, now these fuses are before rectification. So right here you can see we have diodes and diodes are one piece of the puzzle to turn AC into DC. The current is only allowed to go one direction. So what that does is starts basically snipping the wave up and then that wave gets pumped into a capacitor and the capacitor fills up faster than it can discharge so that DC starts to flatten out. Now right now this amp is live and you can see I have my reference which is the ground. That's our potential point. The key when taking measurements is you want to have a potential reference. Ground in this case is going to be our potential reference because you want to see what that potential difference is between ground and what you're measuring. So if we look here on this fuse and the other thing, fun fact, one hand at a time in the amp. You can see that we're getting 17 volts on the side of the fuse closest to the transformer. That's what it's supposed to be. And if we go to the secondary side of this fuse, you can see we're getting next to nothing. That's a sign that it's open. This fuse over here, 17.2. Go to the other side of the fuse, we're at 29 millivolts. So now that tells me that this fuse is open, current is unable to flow through this fuse. So there's a diagnosis, here we go.